Hello East Texas, I'm Craig DeLisi. I'm a family physician here in Mount Pleasant. All right, the next question is, are vaccinated people the main source of the recent spike in Delta cases? And I'm not sure where this idea comes from. Uh, I think it's because people uh, are wondering if there's a lot of unvaccinated people that are um, don't know that they have it and are therefore spreading it. I would say the answer to the question, as stated, is no, they're not the main source. So in other words, we're seeing many, many, many more people who are unvaccinated catch COVID right now than those who are vaccinated proportionally. It's probably 80, 20, or 90, 10. So the main source of current spread is unvaccinated people. But it is true, vaccinated people can catch and spread COVID, as I've already mentioned. Um, one other reason this is such a contagious virus is that the amount of virus in the bloodstream is probably a thousand fold higher than we saw with the original strain. So it does make it easier for anyone uh, who has it to spread it. Uh, I did also just mention, though, that vaccinated people tend to clear that much quicker, and so they're contagious for less time. Um, I do believe, however, if everyone was vaccinated right now, everyone eligible, we wouldn't be seeing what we're seeing. I don't think there would be anything resembling a surge or spike. And this slide here sort of um, demonstrates that. This is showing the states with the, the five least vaccinated states and the five most vaccinated states. And it's looking at the number of cases we're seeing uh, and number of hospitalizations per capita. So in other words, it doesn't matter that um, Rhode Island is smaller than Louisiana in this graph. We're looking at per population. So that top group with Alabama uh, being the worst at the moment is that uh, they have the most unvaccinated in the country uh, out of 1,000 people, uh, 659, so are unvaccinated. So that means their vaccine rate is probably 35% or so. And it's not a coincidence that they have one of the highest rates of hospitalizations per capita for COVID. If you look down at Vermont and Maine and Connecticut and Massachusetts, Rhode Island, they have um, the highest vaccine rate. So as that blue line gets smaller, that means more people are vaccinated. And then none, not coincidentally, their hospitalization rates are much, much smaller per capita. So to me, that's just a, a good graphic representation of the fact that the vaccinated patient people are not the main ones spreading it. The more vaccinated we have, these numbers go down. And so one reason that we're encouraging and pushing that so much.